that are, uh, for example, the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document. It's a 41-page document. It's uh, on our website. This lays out, it's an operations research and technical manual. This, uh, this document was uh, the 1954, build, a 1954 Bilderberg policy at the first Bilderberg meeting. And this laid out the strategy to control the human population. And again, I can't stress enough that everyone should read this because they talk about how um, they, they talk about that this document should not be released to the people because it is a declaration of war. You can't keep fighting fires, you have to go after the arsonists and that's what you're pointing out is the people that are responsible and everything we see out there, what they're spraying and, and why are they spraying, nobody's talking about the conspiracy itself. This is a war against the people and this you've got a hold of those specific people and that's why that's valuable. They're killing us. That's exactly right. And this is their this is their war plan. This is the war plan. So we have to go to the war plan. This is only 41 pages. You take out the diagrams and you've got 36 pages. And it's not hard to read. They say that it's, uh, uh, the silent weapon uh, technology has evolved from operations research, a strategic and tactical developed under the military management in England during World War II. The original purpose of this research was to study strategic and tactical problems of air and land defense with objective effectiveness used in initiated material, uh, military resources against foreign enemies. And they go on to talk about how uh, they came across technologies that um, they had, oh, in 1952, the grant, the grant period terminated and the high level meeting of the elite was held to determine the next phase of the social operations research. The Harvard product, uh, project had been very fruitful as is borne out by the publication of some of the results in 1953, suggesting the feasibility of economic engineering, studies of structure of the American economy. And uh, they talk about how it was engineered in the last half of the 1940s the new quiet war machine stood, so to speak, in sparkling gold plated hardware on the showroom floor by 1954. So this document talks about a combination of irresistible attacks upon humanity and how they will control humanity. Politically, they talk about how they set up the uh, political system right and left so that we would feel um, our grievances were aired and our frustrations could uh, come out. But the bankers were behind everyone who was elected and they laugh at us. They laugh at us. The very, very last, and I'll go to this right now because we'll come back to the document itself, but the very last statement in this document, it says, factor six, cattle. Those who will not use their brains are no better off than those who have no brains. And so this mindless school of je jellyfish, father, mother, son, and daughter, become useful beasts of burden or trainers of the same. So what they say in this document is they will dole out poisonous foods. It's not what we need, but it's what we want. And those that decide to eat these foods will have the consequences of that. They tell us uh, how they set up all the social engineering, how they devise the family, how they crumble the family, how they set up the war machine, how they influence thinking uh, in the family unit to allow the family to give up their children to war for a rich man's fodder. It's, it's a document that discusses uh, the artificial womb they believe that people need to feel protected and that the elites are going to serve as the womb for protection of the people. That they'll have a place to take cover 
and hide from the reality of life because we just are not capable of managing the reality of life. So they will set up um, that artificial womb. It says, the objective of these artificial wombs is to provide a stable environment for both stable and unstable activity, to provide a shelter for the evolutionary process of growth and maturity, survival, to provide security for freedom and to provide defensive protection for offensive activity. And they, they say that from the time a person leaves its, mo mother's, its, its mother's womb, <laughs> in every effort, every, its every effort is directed towards building, maintaining, and withdrawing into artificial wombs. Various sorts of substitute protective devices or shells. So they set themselves up to protect us, to keep us crippled, to numb us down with foods so that our pineal gland is interfered with. We're never able to reach our higher consciousness. And right now, the massive fluoridation across the United States is to collapse the ability for us to think. They're shutting us down right now. They take your baby and make it Rosemary's baby. That's exactly right right it's very similar to the matrix which was based on a DARPA document I mean it's, it is similar isn't it there it's it's problem reaction solution the same way they always operate um, so I guess the best thing to do is wake everyone up and hope that a grassroots movement can change it do you think revolution would be necessary at some point or could it change without that what do you think well I think we need a revelation not a revolution a revolution would only bring in martial law, in, in the opinion of what we are looking at, would bring in martial law. Uh, it would also uh, allow people to be targeted with the weaponry that they cannot wait to roll out on us. You add the drones, you add the micro dust, you add, add in the beam weapons that they tell us they have. They also have a blast wave accelerator and when you look at the population of the United States, the majority of the population lives along the coastlines. And the blast wave accelerator was a uh, tidal wave uh, invention that the United States dreamt up with the Soviet Union back in the 40s. Actually, it was going to be used in World War II instead of the bombs, but they decided to use the bombs instead. And the blast wave accelerator um, exploits the methane deposits on the seabed and causes a fingerprintless, plumeless uh, tidal wave on low-lying areas around the perimeter of any country. That right they now just you've got your weaponized Gestapo meter that keeps track of every house and every movement and every bit of energy that you're already doing and can report back to whoever is observing. So we're virtually in a concentration camp right now. Yes, in the meantime, the food supplies are being reduced as you're mentioning in your other interview, how the dams are being taken out and the food. I mean, it's so obvious that the federal government coming in and wanting your child, even at earlier and earlier ages, every place, everywhere, and it's based on the foundation of climate change, which you mentioned you might want to well, get into and that and your Iron Mountain. That's absolutely true. At all the documents, uh, the Iron Mountain document, uh, even the NASA war document, talks about uh, there are too many people using too much stuff and the earth cannot support this. And they've come up uh, with the fear-based uh, scientific fraudulent information that people are now accepting. They're rewriting history and they're rewriting science with the idea that uh, people are using too much uh, uh, resources. We have to reduce CO2 and reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. And that is flying through every city across the world right now. It's written into all local government uh, documents, and cities now are, uh, at, well, California, for example, with the um, CARB initiative, where we have to actually pay for the air we breathe, and we're taxed uh, for the air. It's like the fiat money. We've accepted uh, false-backed money, which they tell us in the iron document, or in the silent weapons document, one of the reasons that they send uh, our men and women off to war is to reduce the population 
because they have stolen from them. They've taken real labor service in exchange for illegitimate false fiat money. So they have to eliminate the creditors. That's another aspect of war, is to reduce the creditors. But uh, it's all based on the false um, uh, pollution that is not false. They've created the pollution. When you look at the Iron Mountain document, you will see the methods in which they were going to create pollution. They even say that they will deforest us, and they're doing that with the chemtrail, the secret chemtrail or geoengineering program or weather modification. Actually, that program has multiple layers. Not only does it uh, increase weather events, we've just experienced some horrific events here in the United States with massive tornadoes that uh, just destroyed a number of cities uh, in Oklahoma. Uh, we're, we're being hit globally. They're hitting our food supply. It does reduce our food supply. It will increase the cost of our food. Uh, it's changing the pH in the soil, which will then uh, fit to the prescribed Monsanto mega corporation food takeover of the globe. That is the intention of Monsanto is global food domination. They have the seeds. The seeds will uh, grow in the polluted soil that they are creating. This is all by design. So what do we do about this, you asked? We first must become educated. And I would uh, say that the quickest way for people to become educated is look at these very simple source documents. Look at the Quiet Weapons Silent War document. Look at the Iron Mountain document and the New World Order Exposed 1969. They're all on our website, stopthecrime.net. Of all the research we have done, 